In this video, I want to go over an effect called the VHS effect. So, this effect actually is a plugin. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you where to get it. But first, let's just play the video, and this is what the VH effect actually looks like. Obviously, it creates this VHS effect, and more importantly, this effect is like only for um, certain uh, situations. You don't always want your video to look like that. Uh, look like this. However, if this is the look you're going for. You clicked on the right video, so I won't go into the full in depth of how to um, install plugins. But basically what you want to do is you just want to type this into Google right here. This is the guy that I use, I use a ton of his plugins. I'll use Pixel Film Studios, um, which is right here. And I'll eventually I'll probably use some motion VFX. But this guy is by far the best place to get a lot of free plugins. As well as you can see, a lot of these plugins are also um, pretty cheap. I already made a video on how to install plugins. So definitely go ahead and watch that. So obviously what you want to do is you want to obviously type in VHS. Now as you can see there's a whole bunch of different, uh, there's a VHS transition effect, um, there's, there's the free one, there's a VHS effect, however I just use this one, um, the free VHS effect. What you want to do, do is you want to click on it, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just press on buy now. I'm not going to go through the full in-depth tutorial of how to install plugins, but that should load and like I said before, I already made a video on how to install plugins, so you should be able to go to cart. If we if we can't do this right now, there, okay, there you go. So it's all right here. So just enter in your email, your uh, country, your state, agree to the terms, just continue, and you can watch my full video on how uh, to install plugins. But that's where you find um, the plugin. So let's go ahead and just press on full screen. And as you can see, here is the effect up here. I'll go ahead and literally go through every single dial. Most of them don't do much, but I'll literally just show you what it does, just to give you a better idea of what this effect actually offers. What you want to do is you want to go ahead, just uncheck this, head over to the effects panel, and when you install the plugins, it has to be in the effects folder. So let's go ahead, head over here, RN Ryan Nagel, I think that's how you pronounce it, correct me if I'm wrong, but VHS effect free. So here's the effect right here, you want to take the effect and drag it on to your video, and there you go. The effect is officially now on your video right now, and as you can see, here is the VHS effect. Now what I want to do is I want to head over here and literally go through every single dial. As you can see, I don't, I don't, I'm not 100% sure what every single dial does, but there you go, just that's what hair does. I'll go ahead and just increase the dust. Most likely most of these effects don't do much, um, there you go, the dust. Um, you can obviously turn up the saturate, uh, the saturate, uh, the saturate the saturate amount but as you can see that really doesn't do uh, that much and if you were at in the comment section right below um, and you notice this too uh, don't worry you don't have to comment because as I'm as I'm uh, rewatching this I'm realized look at this I had the effect unchecked so I'm actually using the wrong effect so don't be like me so let's just hide that effect so don't worry if you're in the comment section below yelling at me what are you doing don't worry I, I figured it out so here we go so I was on I was on the effect that was unchecked so, as you can see, let's go ahead and just press on show it, and I'm not sure why that keeps messing up, so there you go. Here is the right effect. I was on the wrong effect. As you can see, here are the little hairs. Um, as you can see, that you mess with the dust a little bit, and there we go. Now it's finally working. I was on the wrong effect. So you can mess with that. You can mess with the jitter amount, which just means uh, when I play it, watch, the whole thing is just going to uh, jitter. Um, so let's go ahead and put that back uh, right here. As you can see, it obviously jitters, so it shakes it. So if that's the effect you're going to go for, you can mess with some scratches. You can mess with the uh, brightness amount, how bright you want it. You can mess with the weight. Oh, that's, that's actually, I haven't messed with that a little bit. That's actually kind of cool. That really cool, I, 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 maybe it's, it looks kind of weird, but it's actually kind of cool. Maybe if you want to create some kind of really cool like uh, thumbnail, now this is giving me a really cool idea. So you can, let's just put that back. So you can mess with the static. You can mess with the grain. Not quite sure why you'd want that up. You can mess with the uh, sharpness amount. You can mess with the contrast. You can mess with the color adjust. You can mess with the prism blur, which I think it's a really cool effect. And of course, 
you can mess with the red channel you can mess with the green channel as well as you can mess with the blue channel so basically there's a whole bunch of different things you can mess with i basically just went through kind of showed every single dial and what uh it did and then the overlay opacity I, that's actually kind of a cool effect but basically i just want to go ahead um obviously the, the first part of the video don't disregard the first part i was on this effect which is unchecked which actually is a really good lesson when you're, if you're a beginner in Final Cut Pro, you have to make sure that the effect is checked. For example, you see there's no blue check mark, so everything I do here does absolutely nothing. So that's one thing to make sure that's actually a good lesson that I just learned, by, I shouldn't say I learned, but I figured out, and if you, if that ever happens to you, you're like, wait a minute, what's happening? Why isn't the effect isn't working? Make sure it's, see, there's no check mark, and right here there is the check. So just wanna make sure um, the effect is all checked. So. That's just a good, a good general lesson to um, make sure before you're using an effect. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I just kind of want to show you where the, where you get the effect and what each of the dials does. And I taught you guys taught you guys a good lesson. Make sure the effect is checked and applied before you start messing with the effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. New Final Cut Pro tutorials every single day. See you guys on the next one. Peace.